Hi right, folks, I'm just making a lot of little serving bowls now, little olive bowls we call them. Very simple little bowls, but it's quite fine. Just show you, I've got my camera in a sort of sideways on angle, so maybe you can see. That small, my hands will probably cover them all the time, so. So I'm going to obviously just centre it quite upright because I'm going to make a little foot on these and just open it out. And just slightly lift it up and I'm going to push in just to make a little foot and then just draw it out. And then I'm just going to flare it out simply just to make the bowl shape and that'll be it. Very simple. They're on a little foot. So they're dead easy to make. I'll just make a few more. picture up at the end when the of some that we finished with the different slip designs you can go a bit overboard with the slip designs on the inside of the pot make some nice uh, patterns well, that's a pot they're dead easy to throw Quite fine as well, so quite delicate. So it's good practice if you're starting off to try and throw things quite thin. The bowls are always about one of the easiest things to make because the centrifugal force just wants to sort of throw it all outwards, so they just sort of automatically throw themselves really. So the little foot, it's quite a nice, instead of it just being flat on the bottom, you put a little foot and you can trim like a groove into it, make it a bit more interesting, but uh, dead easy. Now if you want to, you can trim a foot ring into them, but we don't bother because we're just selling them cheap and making them quickly. People aren't going to turn them upside down to see the bottom. So. Find these foot rims a bit of a waste of time to be honest on certain things if you're trying to sell them because they take so much time to do. And when you've got bowls with a rim as thin as these, when you turn them upside down on the wheel again to trim them, you can damage the rim, so it's, it just seems a bit pointless. But uh, he 
each to their own if they want to put the foot rim in, foot ring. By all means, do it. Zoom in a little bit. See if it's any any better. <laughs> I've run out of things to say, really. This clay is quite soft actually, so it's, it's ideal. You can throw them really quickly. tedious throwing one after the other after the other but that's the nature of the job. <laughs> I'm not throwing to any guy because they're all going to be pretty much the same. Give or take. Anyway, I did a video a long time ago um, showing some of the slip designs and how I do them inside the little bowls. So I'll try and put, a, if I can find a video, I'll try and put a link up if anyone's interested. And you can see some dead simple designs that are really effective once they're fired. It's under slip designs. So I'll try and find that one if I remember. How many, that's a, how many I've made now? Put a few more on the, on the side. So again, that's what they look like. I'll just do one more. I'll try and put a picture on at the end, I might even put one on at the start just to show you what they look like when they're fired. Someone's just come in the shot, so I think that'll be about it. So that's it, I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
got seven little bowls made. Probably about ten minutes or so. So that's about it. Thank mm -hmm. you.